I'm here today in Boston, Massachusetts at uh, the Consumer Genetics Conference and I'm standing here with John Boyce and you're the organizer. Yeah, I'm the founder of the, the conference. Why a consumer genetics conference rather than, um, let's just say... A medically having, relevant yeah. one. If everybody in the world was just buying their own consumer tests and then mm -hmm. donating this to some sort of data database would be incredible because then you could really accelerate the rate of discovery and find out maybe the true cause of the mutations. I also see that it's great for the consumer. Once you have predictive biomarkers known, you're going to decrease the cost of healthcare and health spending actually in the U.S. or in any country by that matter because now you can take preventative action. I'm with Alyssa Levin of Navigenics and I would like you to tell me a little bit about what your company does. Navigenics is a genetic testing company that offers a genetic risk assessment tool for common diseases. So we focus on conditions where you can either prevent the disease, you can screen early and detect the disease. We've seen people in their 20s who just want to get as much information as early as they can um, so they can know what to expect and so they can really make the most impact on their health. And we've seen people in their 80s who want information because they think this is exciting, they've been waiting for this to come out, and they want to be able to provide as much information to their children and grandchildren. So I'm with Linda Avey, co-founder of 23andMe. How is your company different than some of the other genetics companies that are, are testing companies that are out there today? One of the things we decided to do is we, we want to tell you everything we can about your genetics, whether it's about your ancestry, about your uh, predispositions for certain diseases, your traits like eye color. And I think as an individual you find all of it interesting because it's about you. And some people are really interested in their ancestry here in the U.S. A lot of us are just a mixture of a lot of different groups and people who came to this country and so we're interested in studying that or or we don't know you know our ancestors might have come here and we lost track of where they came from and so people are learning all kinds of different things so I'm here with Ari Kiriki and you work for the company Gnome and what is your title so I'm VP of sales and business mm -hmm. development so I'm the person who sold the first human genome in the world we will take a DNA from a blood sample uh, and we send that to EGI in China, which is the Beijing Genomics Institute. We sequence the genome, we download that genome for an FDP site, uh, we put it on that USB drive, we put our Gnome Explorer software on it, and we provide an analysis and an interpretation uh, for a consumer. I would love for you to tell me a little bit about this um, USB drive because there's some interesting stories behind this, or a story, I guess I should say. That's great, yeah. So what we've done is we use military uh, encryption to encrypt all the information. But in addition to that, if, um, if some were, someone were to physically attack the USB drive, or if it was attacked by a virus, or a hacker, or even if you put in the wrong password too many times, it'll actually self-destruct. So it's uh, quite how secure. Does it, how does it self-destruct? Well, there are polymers inside the USB drive that will heat up and actually destroy the data. Given that this is a new and emerging field, I was really impressed with how many options there are for consumers already, and I'm sure it's only going to continue to grow. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like next year. 